This course is not a deep dive on LLMs. Instead, its objective is to teach you how to develop a generative AI application using Python and the OpenAI API. However, to be able to create better generative AI applications, it is recommended to have an at least high level understanding of the underlying technology with an emphasis on OpenAI. In this module, I'll teach you the basics and give you the context around the generative pre-trained transformer model, also known as GPT. What is a generative pre-trained transformer model? A generative pre-trained transformer model is a type of artificial neural network-based model that has achieved significant advancements in natural language processing tasks. Okay, this is good. GPT models are part of a broader category of models known as transformers, which were introduced in a paper called Attention is All You Need by Baswani et al. in 2017. Sidebar, the first thing that you need to know about LLMs is that it's possible that the answers generated may have incorrect information, in some cases, made-up information, which is called hallucination. So please, whenever you're using an LLM, always always fact check. Some people have learned the hard way that just copy pasting a response can have potentially disastrous consequences. In this case, this is the paper that was referenced. So yes, this is good. If you want to read it, go ahead. I'll leave this QR code for you. Feel free to pause and navigate to the paper and read it. Generative pre-trained transformer. Let's see what each term in GPT means. GPT models are capable of generating human-like text. In some cases, you can't tell if it was generated or someone wrote it. In some cases, the content generated by the LLM may even be better. And by now, I guess you're tired of all those posts in social media explaining how to make thousands of dollars a month by using ChatGPT to write content or perform some other tasks. This is the generative part in the name. Then, pre-trained, which simply means that GPT models are pre-trained on existing text found on the internet, which means the model learns language patterns and understands from massive amounts of text data. This can be an issue, as some people argue that during this training phase, copyrighted content may have been used, and this can be a big deal, among a few other details. By the way, training is a step on machine learning models, so this is nothing new. And then, transformer which refers to the underlying architecture of the model. Let's spend a few minutes talking about the architecture of LLMs. Let's go deeper into the T of GPT.